In this video, I'm going to show you how to enter an expense into Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I am a Zoho Finance Partner at New Light Financial Solutions. Here at New Light Financial Solutions, we are on a mission to help demystify business finances as well as partner with as many business owners as possible to help them have a growing and more profitable business. Thank you so much for joining us on our YouTube channel today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. There may be times when you need to add expenses to your account that aren't just through your bank feed. This could be that you've made a purchase in advance and you want to get, go ahead and get it on your books, or it might mean that you've made a purchase in cash or a format that isn't something connected with the bank feed. So to do this, you're going to first go to the purchases section of Zoho Books and click the expenses option. Here you'll see all of the expenses you have on your account and you're gonna to wanna to click the new button in the upper right hand corner here to add a new one. You're simply just gonna fill out the fields that are here, starting with the date. So select the date you've made your purchase or the expense. Let's say I have one for October 3rd. And then you're gonna pick the account that you want it to log to. So this is where you're gonna categorize it to. This particular transaction is for a storage unit fee. So I'm, I'm going to select the storage unit. If it happens to be an account that you don't have or you need a new one, you can click the new account link and create a new account for yourself. Next, you're going to put in the amount. This particular transaction was $144. And then you're going to select how you paid for it. Was it through cash? Was it through your bank account? Uh, pick the, the appropriate account for your particular expense. One thing I want to note is that you, if you are going to match to a transaction on your bank feed, it's important that the amount and the account and the date all match up. So you don't want to enter an expense days after the uh, transaction would show up on your bank because that doesn't make sense. You make the purchase, then it hits your bank account. Next up, you can add a vendor. So this particular vendor is public storage. I'm just gonna select that. But again, if you need to add a new vendor, you can click the new vendor option, enter whatever information you want to for that and click the save button. And then if you'd like, you can add reference number, notes, a customer name if it's um, applicable, as well as tags to help categorize and add information to this expense. The last thing I would recommend is to add your receipt. So you can just drag and drop a receipt on here and then your receipt will be associated with this expense. You might actually do this through the app. They have a mobile app that you can use and maybe you're out to lunch and you want to go ahead and take a picture of your receipt so you can throw that receipt in the garbage. Um, but it then will you can match that to your bank transaction later is always a good option. So this is just if you are on your computer how you would do it. When you're done you just click the save button. And then you'll see your expense overview right here. I'm going to quickly show you how you can match this in the bank feed. So if you go to the banking tab and open up the account that's associated with it, I'm going to click on this uncategorized transactions amount. And this happens to be for October 3rd for $144, this one right here. If I select that transaction, you can see it popped up, best matches. And all I'm going to do is click the match button. And that's it. I have entered my expense and I've matched it to a transaction on my bank feed and you're good to go. Don't forget to check out my other videos on Zoho Books. Thanks for watching.